our NDTV has now accessed multiple FIRs and complaints against uh, Bilkis Bano's rapist. Now, in the Bilkis case, these convicts, while they were on parole, have had multiple FIRs that have been filed against them. The Bilkis case convicts, remember, but despite these multiple FIRs, shockingly, were released on the good behavior claim. So, despite the multiple police complaints, on what grounds this, did good behavior really satisfy the conditions is a big question that needs to be answered. The Bilkis convicts have been accused of rape, threatening the witness while on parole. An NDTV investigation has raised several questions on the government's good behaviour claim. This, remember, after we've unearthed yesterday how the sanctions for the release came from the Ministry of Home Affairs. We've also spoken exclusively to union ministers who've actually come out and backed their release. Uh, joining us with all the latest information, uh, NDTV's Tanushri Pandey. Tanushri, this is absolutely shocking given the fact that the entire basis of this release has been quote-unquote good behaviour. Now, what our investigation essentially reveals is quite the opposite. Absolutely, Rishika. The, the Gujarat affidavit, which was submitted in the Supreme Court, they clearly that clearly mentioned that the uh, 11 convicts were actually prematurely released. The one of the major reasons that their good behavior was cited as one of their major reasons. But now, NDTV has ex accessed one FIR and two complaints against at least four of the convicts in the Bilkis Bano case. Now, the first FIR, uh, it was uh, they filed in 2020 when hmm. two of the two of the convicts, uh, namely uh, Radhe Sham and Mitesh Chimalal Bhatt, these two convicts were out on parole and they allegedly uh, ha harassed and uh, in fact threatened one of the prime witnesses in the Bilkis Bano case, uh, Pintu Bhai, and and one of the women who in fact uh, filed an FIR against these two convicts. And in fact, Rishika, the trial is ongoing in the Limpeda court uh, as we speak. I mean, the trial is, uh, uh, you know, the matter is subject is right now. And the sections which have been invoked in the FIR are, are also, uh, you know, great uh, of 354, uh, which says that a modesty of women, uh, you know, has been, um, uh, 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 intimate, uh, there is a, a criminal intimidation and modesty of women. So these kind of sections have been invoked in the FIR. The other two complaints have also been uh, registered by uh, witnesses in the Bilkis Bano case against these convicts. So the, these FIRs and these complaints clearly show that while these convicts were out on parole, they allegedly kept harassing and threatening the prime witnesses in the Bilkis Bano case. There were complaints registered against them to the Dahod police in the Dahod police station in uh, Limkheda police station as well as the Dahod district magistrate was also uh, hmm. kept in the loop and he was also made aware about the fact that the convicts are out on parole and they are harassing the prime witnesses but uh, no action was ever taken against these convicts. One complaint was turned into an FIR but as I said that the a trial is ongoing in Limkheda court and uh, no action is being taken against the convicts. In fact, they are all being released uh, prematurely. So this is what we know so far, but the FIR and the complaint clearly show, clearly question the good behavior claim made by the Gujarat government in the Supreme Court, Rishika.